<laughs> we gotta redefine play hard. Gonna go to one of my favorite Mexican restaurants in Bangkok. Best, babe. The best is baddest. Play hard and party hard tonight. Yeah! <laughs> that was fantastic. Walk hard, play hard. <laughs> Good morning. I used to live right here, at this condo across from Soy Cowboy, Edge 23. I have since moved out to a house with my girlfriend, Psycute, way on the other side of town. And so we woke up early this morning at 5.30 to come down here for an office day. I work hybrid, usually work remote, but today and tomorrow we're gonna do office days. So we're down here on Sukhumvit, and I'm gonna give you a glimpse into the life working in an office here in Bangkok. Soy Cowboy is a very different place early in the morning. Lots of food vendors, street food. A lot of people come here to get their breakfast or their lunch. As you can see, lots of motorbike traffic on Soy Cowboy during the day. Lots of street food, drinks, friendly people, early risers, some construction. One of the bars, two of the bars. Smell the barbecue, smell that barbecue. Taking the BTS over to the office here. <sighs> Already sweating a bit, but this is so much nicer than it was during the heat wave up until now. The rainy season just started here in Thailand. Thank goodness, because we had record-breaking heat. Obnoxiously hot. To get on this train and hop a couple stops to the office, hop, skip, and a jump on the BTS. Just got up to the office here and get uh, complimentary coffees. So getting caffeinated. I am actually hiring someone on my team. So for the first time in my career, I am a hiring manager and I am conducting an interview tomorrow. So now I'm gonna get my interview questions together that I'm going to talk to this candidate about tomorrow. Let's start the work. Working in an office sometimes, rarely, here in Bangkok is really interesting. It's, uh, I feel like I'm working in New York City or something, this big city life. It's not what I was used to back in the suburbs of Florida, where I'm from. Florida man here. But yeah, it's cool, it's exciting. Yeah, working remote is the best, but I guess it's cool to come into the office sometimes and see some of my coworkers in person. This is a co-working space here, so it's not just my company because there's a lot of renovation going on in the main corporate office of my company, which is nearby here also. Everybody goes to lunch at the same time. Sometimes it can get a bit demotivating working from home day after day, but I still prefer working from home and working remotely for sure. All right, I'm gonna get some of this engineering work done that I gotta do and then go out for some lunch. And later we're gonna go check out uh, some plans that we got for tonight. All right, let's get out of here. 
here. I think a half a day in the office is enough for me for one day. favorite Mexican restaurants in Bangkok, Charlie Brown's. And they are not open for lunch. Damn it, I forgot about this. Oh, crap. I hear baking in the sun now too. Shit, bro. And right here is where I used to live when I first moved to Bangkok. For the first year, I lived in Ashton, Asok. Back in my old hood. It's weird to be back here after living here for so long. I used to come here almost every day. I was disappointed about Charlie Brown's, but we might get a second chance at it. Uh, I think I'm going to, there's no seats at Yayoi, so I might have to do Fuji. Ah, uh, there is a seat. Gotta go grab something and then we're gonna go find a fresh spot that I planned out to work from. This is Ramen Champion. It is great. I can recommend the Ramen Champion from Yayoi. Fantastic ramen. Thank you. Oh, that was fantastic. Ate a little bit too much though. Breaking my keto with those carbs. It's a little nauseating. Too many carburetors. Now I'm gonna go grab my suitcase, head to the funky fresh new spot. Mr. Funky Fresh always like funky fresh spots to work from. Yes, I. They say that that the data, the slide that I prepared, is the best one that they say that the pasta is not the like. best. The best. The best, babe. The best is baddest, bitch. <laughs> Did you check in? No. It was literally, I was literally on my way. I was right in front of here when you texted me. Nice. <laughs> Kelly, check it out. All right, I'm gonna do some more work from the comfort of my hotel. I did a bunch more work and the work hard part is getting the best of me. So we're gonna chill in the room here and go to sleep early, but then we're gonna wake up again early tomorrow and we're gonna work hard and play hard tomorrow. Strategic retreat so we can rest tonight so we can play hard tomorrow. Work hard, play hard, sleep hard, rest hard. <laughs>
Good morning. I'm up here in the hotel room working with my crazy hair. I gotta do my interview of my candidate that I'm hiring today and I got some other meetings and work to do. However, we are going to play hard and party hard tonight. There's a meetup with a bunch of other big YouTubers happening that I'm gonna go to, and then me and PsyCute are gonna go out parte harte. But first, I'm gonna explore a little bit around here, do some more work, freshen up, do my meetings, do some, I already said do some work, but I'm gonna do more work, no. You get it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the title of this video is work hard, play hard. And I get that and I subscribe to that philosophy to a certain degree. However, I heard this twist on it. I forget where I heard it. I think it was somebody on the Joe Rogan podcast, but they said uh, work smart, play always, which I think is an even better philosophy to uh, live by. <sighs> Much more healthy. <laughs> so we're going to attempt to do just that and go out and play around Bangkok, one of the most infamous playgrounds in the world. Shirt looks like shit. Walking deeper into the soy here. We're on Sukhumvit Soy 15. I've never been down here before. See this? It's one thing they do in Thailand when they, uh, I guess uh, instead of barbed wire, a lot of times they'll put broken glass on top of walls as a turret makeshift barbed wire. So you saw me go into the office yesterday. I didn't know if I was gonna go into the office today, but I'm thinking not because I'd much rather uh, stay around here, do my work from the room. Not every time I come down here to the office do I get a hotel. This is a special occasion. It's me and the lady. We're gonna go out tonight for some festivities. We gotta play hard. Yeah, in all seriousness, I think work smart, play always is a better philosophy than work hard, play hard. Although you could combine the two, which is what I try to do. I mean, um, I've been blessed to have uh, had a lot of good jobs in my life up until now. Even the job that I have right now is quite good. I mean, I have my good days and my bad days and sometimes I feel under quite a lot of pressure and stress because I got multiple big projects that I've been assigned to work on. But on the positive note, I'm learning a lot of stuff. I got a lot of good colleagues, and co-workers that I work with, and I still have pretty good work-life balance. So it's all good. Still finding time to make these videos with you, explore around Asia and Thailand. Making videos, I do not make any money from these videos as of this recording. Hopefully soon I will get monetized and start making a little bit of cash from making these videos because I put a lot of effort into it. It's harder than it looks. All right, we're at the very back of the soy. We found the river, the waterway with the pier. Yeah, so for success in life, I definitely think you have to have a balance between work hard, play hard, and work smart, play always. I definitely busted my ass to get to where I am in my cybersecurity career now to be able to work remote most of the time or hybrid and uh, live here in Bangkok. I mean, I studied and got certifications, got a master's degree in cybersecurity. All that took time and a lot of disciplined effort for sure, but the fruits are paying off. I'm still busting my ass a lot of the time because I'm doing security engineering that I've never done before, that I've been preparing for this whole time. So it's good learning, learning a lot, building stuff. You also have to play when you need to. Uh, and it's good to bring a playfulness into your work as well. I mean, that's actually the key. I mean, if you can bring a sense of play into the work that you really have to do for your livelihood, that's the secret sauce. All right, I'm gonna go to my favorite burger place here in Bangkok, Bang Bang Burgers, here on Sukhumvit Soy 11. Love this place. The smash burgers are so good. Legendary.
fantastic as always. Living right where most people take their holiday is kind of weird. I used to live right across the street from Soy Cowboy and at that time I would rarely ever actually go to Soy Cowboy, even less so now. I live way far away from here. It's part of the reason why I got this hotel. After partaking in those kind of party activities for a while, it just gets old. It's just the same crap over and over again and loses its charm pretty quick. However, we're gonna dibble dabble back into it tonight and go check out some clubs. Buy me in the club, bottle full of bub. I'm done with working hard. Now it's time to play hard. Well, I just conducted my first interview ever of my career. <laughs> I think it went pretty well. Uh, up until this point, I was always on the uh, on the receiving end of interviews being the interviewee. And now I finally have become the interviewer. That was interesting. I think it went well. Scrampy will be back soon, but I got some drink vouchers for this hotel. So I'm gonna pregame. <laughs> Drink vouchers. Oh, I still have one done. No, I used two. <laughs> I'm going out to the YouTuber meetup, and then we're gonna go hit the town, YouTuber meetup, and then we're gonna go party at the clubs since we're such big party people. <laughs> Got the hotel tuk-tuk. Let's go. <laughs> it's prime time rush hour on Friday afternoon in Bangkok, so faster to walk. She's not impressed with my YouTuber energy. Sleep hard. <laughs> mm, we had a wild night partying last night. <laughs> I <thought so>. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting old. Boring old couple. <laughs> we gotta redefine play hard or play always because, you know. I did so much partying and clubbing when I was younger that I'm just over that shit. Like last night, 
we went to the soy 11 in the entrance of the clubs and i was just like not feeling at that point i mean you saw we already had gone to the meetup and i had some beers and met some people and hung out and after that i was just done i know you might already know this especially when you get to this age playing hard should be working on your hobby working on your craft working on your personal business meditating personal development, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, working hard in the gym, working hard at spirituality, working hard at your business. The playing should be the working and the working should be the playing when it comes to this point, if you're trying to level up in life. Subscribe to this channel for more leveling up content. Let's go, Sir William Elliot for the win.